Hi, welcome to TOEFL Tuesdays. I'm Lucas from Magoosh. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some vocabulary words, some TOEFL vocabulary. I have three words, well, in a way it's actually six words, because each of these three words is both a noun and a verb. So, these are relatively common, um, academic-like, more formal words that you could see in text uh, on the TOEFL or really just in daily life as well. Um, they're all pretty common words. So you might know some of them already if you're advanced enough. I'll hold up a little sign like this for each word if you want to fast forward through and make sure you already know the words or if you want to see more about them. But the point is that these three words um, can have different meanings depending on whether they are verbs or nouns. So I'm going to explore the differences in meanings when they are different parts of speech. First, we have, well, actually there are two ways to pronounce this because as a verb, it's attribute. As a noun, it's attribute. That's one of the tricky things about English, right? Having that stress. It's attribute as a noun and attribute as a verb. Okay, so first, an attribute as a noun. An attribute is a feature, a quality, a trait. It is a part of something that um, shows, well, it, it, it is a noticeable part of something. So say, for example, I have red hair. That is a pretty noticeable attribute of my physical appearance, of how I look. So red hair is one of my physical attributes. But the verb attribute has a totally different meaning, really. It's related, but the usage is so different. Because to attribute means to say that something is caused by or created by something. So, for example, uh, my red hair, where does it come from? What caused it? Well, my parents don't have red hair. My grandparents d didn't have red hair. Nobody did. Um, it was only my great-grandparents, that is, my parents' grandparents. Some of them had red hair. So, I attribute my red hair to genes from my great-grandparents. That is, my red hair was caused by genes from my great-grandparents. So, I attribute it to them. Again, two kind of different meanings with two different pronunciations, but it looks the same, doesn't it? Next, uh, speaking of attributes, my other word, next word is feature. An attribute is a feature. Red hair is a noticeable feature of me, of how I look. Now, feature as a verb is more closely related to feature as a noun than attribute and attribute, which are a little separate. Feature as a verb is also pronounced the same way as feature the noun. A feature, like red hair, might feature noticeably in something. So let's take a different example. That's not a, a fantastic sentence. Let's say, um, if, okay, in famous paintings, there are very often uh, wealthy women. If you look at in history, there are rich women in many, many paintings. Um, why that is doesn't matter. But we can say that wealthy women feature noticeably in historical art, in historical paintings. In other words, they are noticeable features. Right? You can also say that Tom Cruise uh, is featured in a new movie. Uh, or the new movie features Tom Cruise, for example, if you're talking about actors and movies. And it's the same basic idea. It is included as a feature. And finally, my last word is unrelated to the first two. This is another one that has two pronunciations, one as a verb, one as a noun. This word can be either compound or compound. Uh, as is usually true in English, if it's a noun, then it's the first syllable that's stress. That is compound. That's a noun. Compound. If it is a verb, it's the second syllable. Compound. Sometimes, though, people pronounce the verb 
compound in the same way that they pronounce the noun compound. So that can be kind of complicated and confusing. But what does it mean? Well, a compound as a noun is a mix of things. It's especially used in uh, chemistry. So if you see any scientific text uh, or hear a scientific lecture in your TOEFL that is about chemicals and chemistry, you might hear the word compound. A chemical compound is a mix of chemicals. So the verb is closely related. To compound can mean, depending on the usage, can mean to, uh, to mix things. Um, you can have, for example, metal compounded with other elements. Um, or you could maybe compound soap with lotion. Um, it's, it's like mix in a way. That meaning is actually pretty rare though. It's not very common. Usually the verb compound means to make worse. Uh, you might compound problems. Um, and if you compound a problem, then you're adding to the problem with new problems so that it's, you're mixing the problems and making, in the end, a bigger problem. Uh, so again, compound is related to mix, but sometimes it's really like make worse. So there we have it, attribute or attribute, feature and feature, and compound versus compound. That's all for our vocabulary today. Thanks for watching. Happy studying.